everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today I've got a makeup look for you. I'm using primarily Makeup Revolution and Rimmel makeup but probably mostly Makeup Revolution. I'm going to focus on this palette which is the Euphoria Bare palette. It's got eyeshadow and cheek stuff. Please forgive me, I am still down with a cold or some sort of sinusy thing. Um, so I sound like ridiculous and if I have to stop and sneeze, I'll have to stop. So if you want to see what I am doing and putting on my face, then keep watching. So I'm just taking my usual Nivea Express Hydration Primer um, to just put all over my face, as you can see me doing. And then I'm just going to rub that in with my hands. Um, this is a really good base. It hydrates. Um, it just makes everything go on a bit smoother. And that's the star of the show. Uh, the Euphoria palette from Makeup Revolution. And I'm just going to use the mirror um, throughout. <laughs> I'm taking my normal foundation. The Lasting Finish 25 Hour Nude from Rimmel. And this little eBay brush as well that I just showed you. Take that in the back of my hand as I normally do and then I just dot it all over my face. It makes it easier just to blend out um, right over the face and I take the brush. looks kind of like a stippling brush from Real Techniques but it's not. It was a lot cheaper <laughs> and I'm just blending that in like a maniac it would appear. Um, yeah, just, yeah, just blend it in. And then once I'm done, I'm just putting what's left on the back of my hand over my face, you know, where the redness and stuff like that is just where I feel like I need a wee bit more coverage and just blend that out as well. So that's it done. Next is brows. Um, so I've got this, well, I'm using the angle brush as usual and I've got the um, Makeup Revolution Aqua Ultra Aqua Brow Tint. I think it's in fair. Um, and it's just a wee squeezy tube that you need the most small wee bit um, for your brows and that is enough for two brows. God look how red my eyes are. I was very not well in this. Um, so I'm going for a bit more of a natural brow. Um, I do like to start in the top edge just to kind of give a wee bit of shape and then just fill in um, as normal. Um, I don't think it looks too heavy normally. Um, and then of course I, I like to go on upward motions at the front just to make it look that wee bit more natural. Um, it takes me forever to do my brows so I have cut quite a bit <laughs> out of this or else this video would be about half an hour long. But sometimes I have to go back to one or the other just to kind of even them out because I'm not the best with brows. They are my nemesis. They look a bit strange but they tie in whenever I put the rest on. Um, So that's just eye primer. I just take it in the back of my hand and smooth it over my eyes right up to the brow and inner corner and under my eye as well Um, if I'm going to be putting any shadow or it even helps with concealer under the eyes. It helps it to not crease and it helps it to stay. So I'm just taking the um second shade in, this creamy kind of shade, um, on a flat shader brush, um, clean that off from the previous look, and I am just applying that all over my eyelid, right up to, quite far up, up to the brow. Um, I will go in with a lighter colour, I think, to the brow in a bit, um. But yeah, this just helps any shadows to blend out and um, anything that I'm putting on top of that to blend out. And of course, up to the brow, it gives it that little bit of highlight. Um, I'm just using the same brush with this kind of lilac-y shimmery shade. And that's just going on the movable bit, uh, the mobile lid, whatever you want to call it. The bit that goes up and down when you open your eyes. Um, so I'm just kind of pattern and blending that across my eyelid and um, as you could see from my face there I wasn't 100% impressed with it um, but it's all right just as a little as a lid color so now I'm going into the crease um, with this little elf crease brush um, and this I think that shade was matte um, it's like a mauve -y kind of um, lilac -y tone 
um it did look a bit crazy when I first applied it I have to say um but you'll see in a minute when I blend it out it's not too bad it kind of looks there like I've been punched in the eye <laughs> but it I can assure you it does blend out nicely I do kind of extend it out a wee bit um in a kind of wing shape but it's more of a rounded wing if that makes any sense um so just taking this kind of ebay kind of ebay this ebay fluffy uh brush that i sometimes use for concealer or sometimes use for blending um because it is quite big but it's good for you know really um dispersing the color what's the word i'm looking for i don't know but there's me posing again um it's time for a wee bit of outer corner definition is that the word I'm looking for? Um, again, this colour wasn't fantastically pigmented, but it did work to deepen it up a bit. Um, so I'm just taking a little bit of that same colour that I used in the crease um, under my eye, just to kind of tie everything in and link it up with the top. Um, and I'm just using that same flat shader brush because it's got a nice kind of flat end that works well under the eye, I think. And... A wee bit of cleanup is sometimes necessary if there's fallout or if you've just made a bit of a hash. So that's what I was doing there. So I'm using the Soap and Glory Super Cat um, Eyeliner. Um, it's felt tip and I don't normally get on with felt tips as you'll probably see in a minute. Um, on one of my eyes they tend to feather quite a lot. Um, this one it goes on, the one that you're seeing at the minute goes on alright. Um, but whenever it comes to the next one it will start to feather which is really really annoying. But I think if I use two hands it's not too bad but because I have to hold the mirror it's like nah. But yeah, it's, it is what it is. So, oh my eyes are so red <laughs> um, because it's feathering I thought I would clean it up a wee bit just with the angle brush um, and it kind of softens it a wee bit as well because I want this to be kind of daytime appropriate or you know not too dramatic it works well so I'm going in with this W7 Lash Tastic Mascara. I don't normally use it and it's a bigger brush than what I'm used to as you'll see in a minute. Um, and it does come out with quite a lot of products so it's good to wipe the majority of that off. Um, you can use any mascara. I just wanted to use what I had um, kind of cheaper end wise. I normally use Benefit They're Real but that would take away from the whole fact that this is a drugstore Um makeup look wouldn't it um it is a decent mascara and it doesn't tend to flake or transfer on me but it does take quite a while to dry so it can transfer while it's drying which is annoying and it did do that on me um in this um look which was really annoying but hey ho so i did two coats of that and now it's time for a bit of under eye concealing and that's the rimmel wake me up concealer there um i don't do an awful lot of highlighting um especially for kind of an everyday look um or a, a not too ott look um so it's not too light that concealer which is good and that's just a a pointed kind of tapered kabuki kind of style brush from ebay that i got um i find fits quite well under the eye um, just taking a wee bit of the lightest shade as well and popping that in the inner corner <laughs> using that same kabuki brush um why not and that's that and I'm going to just set that in place with my normal Rimmel Stay Matte in Translucent um, and I'm just going to use that under the eye in the T-zone just anywhere that I would get oily really um, the foundation doesn't really need setting but it just helps with the oil control so I'm going to use the um, cheek bit of this palette I'm going to use the contour shade um, which it was quite orangey, so I probably wouldn't normally use this. I might would um blah, 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 might use it as a bronzer, um, rather than a contour shade, because it looks a bit crazy on me. I think, um, so I'm just gonna blend that out a wee bit with my foundation brush. Like I say, it looks a bit crazy, um, and of course my battery cut out, which is what I was showing you the charger for. So I had to wait and I'm showing you what I did last um, and now it's time for blush 
And I'm going to use the blush in the palette as well, which kind of reminds me of the NARS Orgasm and the Sleek Rose Gold, um, you know, that kind of tone. But it is very shimmery. I was quite surprised by the shimmer on it. Um, I mean, it's lovely and I do like it and it does save on highlight, as you'll hear me say later in the video. Um, but I wasn't anticipating that. I think I just said I'm not going to bother with highlight there. Um, and I'm taking this, it's quite a new thing from Makeup Revolution, it's the Radiant Lights in Breathe, as I'm showing you. Um, and it's kind of supposed to be a dupe for the um, Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powders. I've got this one, and yes, you can use it all over your face, but the other one that I have, I really wouldn't use it all over my face. It's more of a, a highlight. So I'm just putting that on all over, just to give me a bit of a, a glow, or radiance, if you would like. Does that make sense? No. Shut up, Lara. Um, so, yes, I'm posing again, and it's time for lips. And this, again, from Makeup Revolution, is one of the newer lipsticks. It's called the Lip Hug in End With Beginnings. It's quite a bright pink. It reminds me of a cross between Max Candy Yum Yum and Girl About Town. Um, and it's got quite a, a glossy finish. Doesn't last all that long, I have to say, having worn it for that day um but it does feel quite nice and it looks lovely and it's a really nice color and of course I love a bright lip so there I am posing again um so that's the makeup done and that's it up close um so you can see it's kind of like a lilac eye and a bright pink lip um and quite natural brows so there you have it, um, it's kind of, I would wear this during the day, um, but I think it's kind of date night appropriate or you know if you just go in summer and you want to make a bit of an effort. So I hope you have liked it, um, it is a lot more shimmery in the cheeks than what I thought it might be, um, but I suppose it's saved on highlight. Um, if you have liked it, give it a thumbs up and if you're new, please subscribe, it would mean a lot to me. Thank you so much again for watching. Bye.